Hey everybody and welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today we are painting a Marzacod. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correct. It's the ABC warrior workforce from the Vulcan forces that were defeated and sent to Mars to work for the floppy humans. So as you can see, he's got a nice white prime and I've grabbed the Grave Lord Grey. Now I am painting this figure in a certain color scheme. As I mentioned with my Baymax one of these, I'm picking robots that I either love the colour scheme of or I just love the robot in general and they can come from any background that I so choose. So the first one I did was Baymax in his red armour style suit with a purple accent colours. I really enjoyed painting it so I had to go again and this was the next model that I wanted to paint and I was looking around and I really wasn't sure what robot would fit this color scheme. I know in future I've got a few robots lined up for the last one, but for this one I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I'm hoping at about halfway through I'll unveil what model or what color scheme I have based off, uh, based this model of. But if you can guess before then, make sure to drop the timestamp in the comment and say which uh, robot you think I'm trying to paint it as. And I really hope you enjoy the final result. It was a lot of fun to paint. And I think it's it's a shame actually that I don't have more of these because I think I would have done a full squad of three. That could have looked even better. So there you go. We skipped forward a little bit. I got everything primed, uh, everything gray, gravely. Oh, I can't talk. Got everything grave lord grayed, including his gun. And he's already looking pretty cool. Uh, up next is the Crusader skin. So this is going to throw you a little bit. Yes, he has got a fleshy color going on. And I'm going to be solely focusing on the face for this step. Going to take my time. Do it once, do it right is the plan. I'm also going to try and get around his eye sockets, which could be a little bit of a pain. But we'll come back to that. And as you can see, he is now done. Now the question is, have you worked out what I'm trying to paint? Up next, the High Lord Blue. This model doesn't have a huge amount of blue on it, but has some accents of blue. It's mostly the knees and downwards a little bit on its wrists. I absolutely adored this robot back in the 90s. They equally terrified me and made me think they were so cool as well. They were probably bigger than a, a city block and they used to hunt mutants. And that's probably all I'm going to say for now. I don't want to reveal it just yet. I want to get the next color down. Yeah, this is going to be a real quick and dirty video. Like uh, like I've mentioned before, I'm just going to speed up quite a few things. I waffle a lot if I'm given too much time to chat. And you don't really need to see me going in depth with every brush stroke. These are, at the end of the day, speed paints, and you know how to use them by now. I'm not teaching you anything good new here. I'm just try and inspire you to get paint on models and show off what I'm hobbying with. If that sounds like something you enjoy, you should drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are already a subscriber, thanks for hanging out with us. And there you go, purple alchemy is the last color. Have you guessed what it is yet? Have you guessed what it is? Let's get some paint down and then I'll pop up a picture of my inspiration for this. I'm really falling in love with the purple alchemy. I always thought it was pink, so it sat on my shelf for way too long because I wasn't sure how I would use a pink. But it comes out a lot darker, and it is definitely purple. So I feel like a fool for having not done it. And there you go. Who guessed an X-Men Sentinel? <laughs> I really like it. This has brought me so much joy. Um, I had an absolute blast painting this. So we're going to do some glamour shots and I will leave you to enjoy the images. As always, cheers for watching and I hope you like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in another video soon. 
Bye bye.